Hey guys, what's happening? Jamie here from Unbox, and it's time for another weekly recap. But before we begin, it's time to announce the winner for the Asus Zenfone 3 giveaway. Drum roll, please. Mark Joseph Jimenez, if that's you, congratulations. You are now a proud owner of an Asus Zenfone 3. Make sure you hit us up with an email at unboxph at gmail.com so we can send you your phone as soon as we can. We'd also like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We just reached 20,000 subscribers. So whether from day one or just recently subscribed, thank you very much. We do have more giveaways lined up, so do stay tuned. But for now, it's time to start the recap. Two new mid-range devices were launched last week, the Vivo Y55 and the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. The 5.5-inch Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime sports an Exynos 7870 processor that clocks in at 1.6 GHz, paired with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of expandable storage, a combination that gave respectable benchmark scores. And hey, no reports of J7 Primes exploding in the wild as well. You can read or watch our initial review for the recently launched J7 Prime and make sure you check back within a week for its full review. Vivo also launched a new mid-range device this week, the Vivo Y55. That's equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 processor, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of expandable storage. The Y55 is priced at 7990 and has a full metal body to house all its internal hardware. We're still waiting for the review unit at Unbox HQ, but rest assured that we will be taking it for a spin. For now, you can check out our initial review by clicking the link in the description down below. And now, more news from the Korean brand Samsung, who has officially halted sales for their flagship tablet, the Galaxy Note 7. After initiating a global recall and replacement program for the Galaxy Note 7 due to issues with its battery, Samsung has decided to pull the plug on what was their flagship tablet. Reports of the newer unit shipped to replace the initial batch of the Note 7 were still exploding and it's a real shame since the Note 7 was a very strong contender for 2016's smartphone of the year. With the Note 7 out of the picture, we have suggestions for other devices you may want to check out if you're in the market for a flagship device. Links in the description down below. Lastly, we've got two editorial pieces regarding our favorite social media platform, Facebook. Free Facebook is all well and good, but is it making us a little lazy? It's not all bad because it does allow people to connect on some level without an active internet connection, but has it taken a turn for the worse? This weekend, we've also been seeing a particular status being shared on our feed that serves as a quote-unquote notice to Facebook about the use of content that's posted on their site. Unfortunately, that was a hoax. Links for both articles by editor-at-large John Nieves in the description down below. And that's it for our weekly recap. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding any of the stories we've mentioned in this video. This is Jamie and I'll see you next time.